many are faced with their phone batteries running low in the midst of an important call. While some will resort to battery saving mode, others have downloaded battery saving apps. But how do these apps keep the phone from running low? And can there be hidden dangers with these apps? On Tech Test, the Lab FM's Chrissy Debra speaks with Professor Kesta Quist Afeji of the Ghana Communication Technology. Eric, a phone user for nearly two decades, was initially confronted with issues of low battery when his power bank was far away. But for some time now, he's found ways to keep up. When uh, it goes down, or maybe it is going down, you have, let me say, only two options. To either reduce your uh, power consumption by the apps, uh, or you can use ultra battery, battery saver, which will uh, give you options to use uh, apps that do not require uh, uh, the battery being drained. Samuel, however, opted for an app. You see there, there's a certain app on the phone called Freezer, this one. So I have freeze most of my apps, for example, AppShare, Boomplay, Jumia, Opera Mini, I have freeze it. So in case I want to use, for example, if I want to use flash score to know the score of certain match going on, I just unfreeze it. In a very short time, I'll get, I'll get what I want. And then after I finish using that app, I just freeze it again. And if I do that, it helps me, uh, it helps the battery and also my data. But how do these apps help in keeping the phone going? When the battery is draining, could there be hidden dangers with these apps? Professor Kesta Kwistafichi of the Ghana Communication Technology University has the answers. Um, so, for example, if in case you are uh, running maybe a WhatsApp app, those applications can stop the WhatsApp app from running at the background, which means they have a higher privilege to the uh, Android operating system. So they help in stopping those programs that are running in the background so that they can save battery. That is how they practically work. So we have a lot of people that take advantage of developing those applications and use it to have access to different levels of the application and also of the Android operating system and use it to do so many things. Which means that if they have that access, somebody can also write a code that can send messages at you that can make calls in the background, that can uh, read your messages, maybe read, for example, we have certain applications that somebody can use your phone number to perform a mobile money transaction, and before you realize you are paying for it, even though the verification or the authentication is supposed to come from your end. Those applications can perform those things at the background due to their uh, low level access to the Android operating system. So that is how dangerous they are. So in order to make sure that you don't install the wrong ones, you have to get it from the developers of those systems themselves. For example, uh, Google also develops software systems that are used for those activities. So when you get it from those sources, it makes it much more safer. Reporter for Joy News, Kwesi Debra.